Okay, today we're gonna talk about cleaning instruments, and this is mainly a training video for uh, from uh, the nurses in uh, Mount Sinai, the medical assistants. So, at the beginning of the day, any remaining instruments in the autoclaves are filled to the appropriate drawers. And you know, we had just done this, but for the sake of uh, the video, the, each drawer, if you look in, has a label, obviously, and you need to put stuff where they need, you know, in the appropriate drawer. Please check to see that the indicators are black and black, uh, and blue and purple black, as proof of proper sterilization before use. So, yeah, here, it, it oh, do we have a, uh, a blank one to compare? So, there it's blue to blue. And here it's yellow to black, and then the other one is purple to purple, and this strip is black to black there. Okay, in each sink, uh, there are metal bins containing a plastic basket. Now, this is not in this sink, this is in, uh, um, you know, we'll go to an example exam room right across the hall here. Uh, there's a plastic bin that holds the instruments. So you open this metal thing and there's that plastic bin that holds the instruments. The bin should be filled with uh, the, the bin should be filled with Sidex enough to cover the instruments. Uh, instruments with joints should be left open while soaking with Sidex. So uh, there's the Sidex in there and there's the and you see how she pulls out that basket there, okay? And you can see that if if, if she closed it, the basket drops and the instruments would be covered. Uh, it, otherwise, add more Sidex. When the cover is open, the basket lifts out of the Sidex. Instruments are then lowered into the Sidex when the lid closes. As such, the bin should be a little more than half filled with Sidex. Collect the instruments from the bin. Do not put your hands in the bin. Instead, use gloves. Pick up the basket containing the instruments by the handle on the side. And, uh, oh, we got to get the metal bin. So it's okay. So, um, where's the metal bin? There's a metal bin in the sink here, so check it out. Look what's in the bin. There's, that's already soaking in stuff. We'll get to what it's soaking in. Yeah, must be. There's an error here already. The hinged instruments are not left open. Okay. So we need to correct that. Shame on us. Okay. So now, look at how Car look at how Carmen's doing this. Doing. They should be oh, left damn. in the Sidex when it's used. They should be opened, all hinge instruments, and dropped in, and then it merges into the Sidex. In the morning, when you come in, you pull up, the tray rises, you collect the instruments carefully, then you don't get stuck with anything. But all hinged instruments should be left. Open. Now, like, well, what happens is there's like, you know, 20 hinged instruments in there. Oh, you're just filming something? We're filming something. Oh, sorry. I'll leave this on the station. Yeah. Your schedule? If there okay. were 20 in here, or say, you know, four okay. five. Can you pick up the basket and just dump yes, the whole you can. thing in? I think that's the safer way of doing it. Right. And Instead that's how you of, do like, it. Instead of sticking your fingers with mm -hmm. the sharp scissors. I go to the loops. Huh? I go to the loops. Or, or you can hold it through the loops. Anyway, well, however you want to do it, just but, but you should do it without sticking yourself. And that's the way it should walk in the train. So now, so Carmen would theoretically walk around all the different rooms and grab all the instruments. So let's say this is the last room, so we're going to go back to uh, over there. So we use a larger metal bin into which you dump the instruments. Go to the soiled utilities room, which we're in now. There are two sided sinks. The left side is soiled, the right sink is no. clean. No. It should be the right side is soiled because it's the closest to the cleaning. The left side is the clean. Okay, so uh, the right side is soiled and the left side is clean. So this has now become a mop. No, this is, this is perfectly fine. Um, and I'm gonna edit everything one day. Um, okay. Oh, so so uh, oh, there's a there's a smock or whatever. Before you start cleaning, since you're going to be scrubbing with soap and water, and there's dry blood and everything on that those instruments. You have to put on a blue protective plastic gown. Protects your clothes, protects you. Okay. You need to put on a mask, protects your mouth, and also a shield for your eyes so nothing splatters. Oh, okay, that's good. We didn't have that in there. 
Now, if she were going through, you know, using this mask for like surgery, obviously you'd pinch the nose. Mm -hmm. Here it's just to protect from splashing, so not necessary. And then you put on a pair of gloves, sometimes two pairs of gloves, to keep yourself from getting stuck. So you can wear one or two pair of gloves? Mm -hmm. Pending? Yep. It's okay that you have all the rings on and everything? Yep. Okay, we're gonna get up, get up in there now. So Carmen is electing to double glove today. So, um, why did you put on the water? Because I'm gonna begin scrubbing, because in this solution of the soil instrument brand, it's match side and water, and you're supposed to let look it at the, Look at the max side. This it's like it's, called, it's max design, max side, and you put it, the instruments are in that soapy water for 30 minutes. It helps to loosen up any dry blood excrements that are on it. Yeah, so, so here, just to, so we go in order, we place the metal uh, container used to collect the instruments in the soiled sink, fill it with water enough to cover the instruments, which was already done before we had, uh, you know, um, done this. Mix the water with Maxazyme detergent. Three to four pumps yields a bluish hue. The exact measure is one ounce for one gallon of water. You soak the instruments for 30 minutes. Do not leave the instruments overnight because they will rust. Instruments with a joint, like a suture scissor, gradle scissor, needle holder, mosquito clamps, nail clippers, must be left open in the Maxazyme. So just like it was left open in the side X, it's left open here in the Maxazyme. So you carefully extract each instrument one by one. While we used our gloved hand to remove the instrument, please consider using each separate instrument using a thongs and then clean the individual instrument. So like, if there's like 50 instruments and they're all, they're all um, you know, uh, scissors jutting out here, there, and everywhere, you may not want to stick your hand in there. You may want to use another instrument to get the instrument. But uh, now that she has it, um, there's a whole art to how you clean these things. You take one of the brushes. This is just the, um, the nylon one. And you just scrub. So you said put the instrument on the divider, or is that put the divider. like this divider? Yeah, this is this side. And then when you're done with it, you're going to put it into the other side basket. So now, is there like specific ways any one, is, is that the most complicated instrument to clean? No, the sharp ones, which I'll show you. So is there a system that you're doing, like you clean one part no, first, one part second? the first one I grab. I tend to like to do all hinge ones first then you move on to the other one. So they go in the machine at the same time. And you have to put them in the so let, let's sound. So let's look look in the basket so that Ultra like look sound. You don't rinse it from it? No, because you're gonna put it in that water. So hold on, so put it. So what is that? That's an that's the ultrasound? That's the ultrasound that we're gonna eventually. There's an ultrasonic cleaner there, you can see this. Okay. Then with the scissors, I hold them this way, pointy ends away from me, and you scrub like this. Okay. Here, focus, zoom in a little bit. If they have dry blood, we have one with metal bristles that you would just go in and keep your fingers away because they also stick you. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the metal bristles, you can get stuck with the brush or the scissors. Yeah, and you have to hold the instrument, the hinge ones, in a certain in a way that the sharp is away from you. And also we sturdy them like this so they're waiting the toes on you. And then you just go like that. Okay? Continue. Okay. And now are there any other kinds of instruments that are uh, special? Um, to clean? Great or also. They can be the pointy and the same idea. This is the most dangerous one because these are oh. really sharp. And it should be away from the body and you hold it like this so that way it stays sturdy. Oh, oh, so hold on. So when you scrub, you're starting from the hinge and going yeah. away. Mm -hmm. It's not, you're never scrubbing towards your hand. No. And that way, it gets clean and you don't get stuck. And again, she's putting them open into the ultra. 
to the ultrasound as well. Now, with a curette. Here, hold on, look at the curette. Let's, let's go back and look at the curette. There's a dip, the different brush you have to go because you have to get into the hole. Mm -hmm. So, we have a small brush, and we go like this. Just to loosen up anything that's in there. Yeah. Okay, and then you scrub. Again, this is still considered sharp area because you can scrape it so from it. I always put it away from my, my hand. Oh, I gotta get away from my desk. Uh, okay, so uh, hold on. We're gonna stop for a second. So we just press stop. Okay, we're 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 recording again. With the forceps, I put my finger inside. Okay. I use a metal brush because usually, in, especially in the tooth and the serrated one, you get dry blood in there. Uh, and I, away from away from my hands, I'm cleaning. Right. Both sides. Okay, I'm gonna switch brushes. Again, it's away from me. So it's like it's the the top top and the inside the inside. Yeah. Okay. And that's that. And you don't have to scrub the inside with that brush. No, because you use the bristle. Wait, hold that's on. It. Okay, this is just the slow hand motions. Right. I want to just see kind of what's going on in here. Okay. Then the comb and extract is kind of the same way as the curette. You go with the small. Let me brush. just let me just. I'm zooming in and don't move your hands so quickly. Let it focus. Wait one second. Okay. Okay, and the same idea for the narrow end. Wait, 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 you're covering with your hand. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, okay, got it. Okay. We don't have such technology. Oh, I can do this. Okay, so... Wait, we... Are we, okay, I don't know, so it says zero minutes. What is this? Is this recording now or not recording? You know what, what's up the with that? The number's moving. Yes, it is moving, okay. Okay. The next side. Okay, so it's a full, it's a full on, two full on pumps. Yeah, and I need to fill it with water. Cause you know what? This is the tray we usually use when it's empty. Oh, okay. Well, so why don't you just take those instruments out just to, for for now? So we were, we will have imagined because this is all kind of a mock painting anyway. We're going to have imagined to have uh, taken all these. You know, clean, have clean. We have cleaned all the instruments now. Okay, and now you have this water that already had the max design in it. Uh, I guess so you know. Okay, so um, it, it, just to, to backtrack a little bit, we had, um, we had scrubbed the instruments and that before that first instrument was put in this ultrasonic cleaner, we want to be sure the ultrasonic uh, instrument cleaner is empty and dry. Um, it is located in the sink counter to the right of the clean, to the right of the uh, Soil. soiled sink. Uh, and so, uh, so you know, it was empty and dry. Now it's now it's filled with instruments. Uh, when you're done scrubbing an instrument, put the instrument in the ultrasonic uh, cleaner. Um, when all the scrubbed instruments are in the ultrasonic cleaner, fill it the fill it with enough water to cover all the instruments. So, did you do that already? Yeah. So, how do you do that? So we, we rinse out the, you know, the, the Max Zyme stuff from, from this tray and we use it to just carefully pour water into the thing. Now, is one tray enough or you need two trays? You need a few trays, Father. You need a few trays. So we're doing one. This no, is the no, number. No, of course not. This is the second one. And the third one. I feel like we're on Martha Stewart. <laughs> and the fourth one. Okay. So, uh, what, on the ultrasonic cleaner? You can see the water is covering the instruments. Oh, gotcha. And the blue hue of the dark side is in there. Okay, water's covering the instruments. Blue hue is in there. Okay. And I'm just gonna use so you can see how much water's in there. Okay. So now, uh, now Carmen covers it. Uh, and hold on, you said put one, you said put one pump of Maxazyme in there, and we had done that. All, we had done that already. So uh, wait one second. I'm just gonna turn the page here. 
have to read and do this. As a, turn the UI, the ultrasound timer, to 15 minutes. So I don't know where the. Oh, there's 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, the timer counts down automatically. While this is happening, get the blue pouches ready in which to put the instruments. Set the date sticker. Set the date on the sticker gun. So do you have to like unglove now? Yep. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna unglove. Where's the sticker gun? Where's the sticker gun at? In one of these drawers is the sticker gun. How do you set the date? Wait, 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 it's got to focus. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you pull it out and, and twist. So July 29, 10 is okay. the date. The 01 stands for the first session on the machine. So if someone else is doing instruments after we have done the cycle, uh -huh. they would change it. They would bring this down and make it this two because that means it was two sessions done. Gotcha. Okay, so we're the first one, so we're doing one session. Okay. Here. So we have to put the sticker on the date when we clean the instrument on the pouch. Uh, each pouch gets a sticker. Where do you, where? Hold on. How, I don't understand how you did that. You pull the trigger first? Pull the trigger. Wait, wait. wait. So, well, you, so you squeeze the hand. Okay, so, so, uh, if you squeeze it and do it at the same time, or you squeeze it first? You squeeze. Hold on, oh, I see. You squeeze, and that that allows one of these guys to get out. And then it has like a roller here. Yeah. That you roll across, and it puts the sticker on. Gotcha, that's what you did. Okay, great. Now, we said each pouch gets a sticker. Each pouch has to have an indicator strip. The unused strip is black uh, with the yellow box. Um, okay. When proper sterilization has occurred, the arrow box will turn black. Each pouch also has an indicator on the pouch itself. Four blue arrows on the back of the pouch turn purple, turn purple black uh, when the proper sterilization has occurred. Both indicators should indicate sterilization before use. Reuse. You have to initial each pouch with your, the person cleaning's initial. So, Carmen's going to do that. Okay. And um, now the, the pouch containing tooth forceps has to be labeled T, and the pouch containing serrated forceps has to be labeled S with a Sharpie marker. For curettes, write the number of the curette on the pouch. So where, where on the pouch would you write it that? It doesn't matter as long as it shows. Even for needle holders, it's supposed to read an H on it. There's okay, so just write an H or write T or S or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can show you those. This one that's sterilized with a tooth. Yeah, that's a sterilized tooth. Okay. Initials are there. Person's initials. Okay. And this is a serrated. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. And then curette. Like for example, this is a number five curette, which is a kind of a small, small hole. No, big hole. Big hole. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't use fives that often. I don't use curettes that often. Okay. Uh, anyway, in the autoclave machine, there is a tube that is a water indicator. So, um, oh, okay. Part, pardon us. Where's? Can we show it on this? Is on this autoclave? The. That's it. I don't see it now. In the autoclave machine, there's a tube. That is a water indicator. Um, oh, okay. So um, the water level in the indicator should be on green. Mm -hmm. I see. So there's a green. Can you just point to the green, red and the green? So that's green, and it's clearly well within the green, and that's red. Okay. Um, to add water, pour it through a spout at the top. Use only distilled water available in the cabinet. So there's a distilled water. Sterile water. Okay, or sterile water. Okay. Not salt, not not normal saline though. Just sterile water. And there's a spout here. Wait, I can't see. Okay, spout at the top. I'm just gonna pour a little bit because it's. Pour as little bit because it's already full, basically. Okay. And the purpose of this is what to provide the steam. The steam, and if you don't, if you're in the red area, you're gonna burn the pouches. Oh. 
Okay, that's not good. So, uh, okay, use only distilled water. Okay, when the 15 minutes of the um, ultrasound machine is finished, rinse the instruments in water in the clean sink by lifting the strainer basket containing the instruments in the ultrasound machine and run it under water from the faucet. So, we're just gonna, oh, we're getting, we're re gloving. How come we don't have gloves in this room? We're not a, ah, we need to put a dispenser on the wall. Okay. Okay. So th this is the uh, clean sink. And hold on, I gotta film you getting the stuff out. So is there any special way of getting this basket out, or do you just lift it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is how you Okay. Uh, and um, drain the instruments in the clean sink. It is okay to pour the maxazyme down the drain. Of um, the soil side. Of what? The soil side. The max side goes on the soil side. The max side goes on the soil side. So what are you? Oh, so we have to drain the ultrasound machine. You're saying. <laughs> okay, so it's still running, but basically you would you would drain this one, which means taking the whole entire machine and tilting it right into that sink over here on the right. Uh, okay, spray lubricant over the entire pile of instruments in the basket. So where do we get the lubricant from? Or are we out of order? Yeah. So what, we're moving to a, a... This is a clean sink. So this, this is a clean, clean sink. Area. This is a clean area. Okay. okay. And we're arranging this, so apparently... Do you want me to empty it, Jay? What? Yeah. Ready? The timer went off. Yeah. I take them and carefully... And we're just emptying this into the uh, soiled sink. Okay. Now where are our clean instruments? Our clean instruments are in the clean sink. Okay. From the soiled area to the clean area. So we're, we're gonna. Okay. So now what? Then I dump them in so there. You just dump them in there. Okay. In there. Okay. And uh, and here is where you spray the lubricant. Yes. Okay. So where's the lubricant at? Spray lube. Okay. And then you just do that. That's it. Okay, and um, this is done for the instruments with joints, but there's no need to separate out these instruments. Spray it until all the instruments are coated white, then shake the bin so all the instruments get coated. If I had more, yeah. Huh? If I had more instruments, I would have to shake it. Okay, it's fine. Right. But uh, okay, so so but we we added a step of of, of putting the um, the chuck underneath the new bin. Yeah, I like to always keep the chuck under. Is there any? Is there to, to some absorb people? all the water? That's what I, they were taught. Um, it absorbs the water that's already from the rinsing. Uh huh. And then, um, you know, because we use this tray for many purposes. So you just I don't get it like greased up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you place. Okay. So now we place. It, put instruments separately in each pouch. So, so this is a large pouch. Instruments so with joints should be placed in the open position in the pouch. One instrument per pouch. This is a large pouch. Okay. Okay. You go like that. Yeah. You pull the tape. Uh huh. And you fold this over. Okay. And that's that's it. Okay. Um, you have to count the instruments. You can do this while washing or while pouching. Mm -hmm. um, to put the pouch on any of the four shelves in the autoclave. Um, uh, pile pile one on top of each other. Do not stuff overstuff the shelves. The autoclave can accommodate approximately seventy instruments before you need to do a second run. So hold on. Here's the shelf. Okay, go ahead. You put one. Now, how many how many instruments per shelf, for example? Like I would say, depending on the size of the instruments and how much space they take. Like, can you can you uh, you use the just use some instruments that are clean here to just give me an idea of, of how many. Give me an idea of how many uh, things you can put in a shelf.
you don't want to put too much that's touching the roof of the water plate. Okay. All right. And you just want to spread them out too. So you give it space. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm fighting with your head there. All right. And, you know. Okay, etc. So, but so it's so, okay. But, but, but pull, pull out the top tray because it's just to see that that's about as full as it should be now. Is yeah. that that what top one is touching the top? Is that overstuffed or is that? No, like this. So you just accommodate it because it can hold this much, and it's not touching the top. You can get zoom in. It's not. Great, it's not touching the top. Okay, fine. Okay. And then. All right, let's okay, so now we close the door. Oh, hold on, I missed that. You do that again where you, you have to lift that little mm -hmm. flap up. You push it in and it locks in. Okay. Uh, now um, press one or two depending on what cycle it is, whether it's the first or second cycle of the day. So where's... No, this? we don't press one or two. Oh, you don't? No. We okay. press pouches. Okay, so just go through it. So pouches Uh huh. and then start. So that's it. You don't have to worry about one. This or two. is programmed already. Okay. To let it to do the cycle that we need, the temperature that we need for pouches. Pre-programmed. Okay. And the pressure that you need for it. Okay. It's pre-programmed, and it runs a cycle. It goes through a cycle of filling with uh -huh. water, mm -hmm. a cycle of sterilizing. Mm -hmm. Then it depressurizes and it pops open. Okay. And it goes through a cycle of drying. Okay. The whole thing takes about anywhere from forty-five minutes to an hour. And if everything is okay, the digital indicator at the top should say filling. Mm -hmm. If something is wrong, it will read error. In case of error, you call the company who will troubleshoot with you. The autoclave manual is in the drawer below the machine. Where is that manual? No, I have the manual in my room. Oh. Here it is. It's also in here. We have a copy of it. So there's a copy here. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, it takes five minutes to complete. You know the cycle is complete because it reads complete on the... Uh, on the um, Read out there, and the door goes slightly ajar. Let the steam, let the steam out. It, it goes okay, fine. And once the once the uh, cycles are finished, the doors open automatically from steam pressure. The steam will come out, and the instruments will be hot. Uh, instruments are left to cool overnight. Uh, throughout the day, if instruments are not in the drawers, take the instruments from the autoclaves. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're getting to the end here. Uh, there is a logbook by the machines. That's over here, this logbook. And in the logbook, you write the date. So you write the, the, the date, the machine you used. No, load number. Sorry, oh, load number, okay, fine. And then the machine you used. And then the machine you used. Um, and, uh, and what is that? The total amount of instruments. So we write, this cycle did 36 various instruments. That's what we write, various okay. instruments. Okay. And then that's it. And then when is and what are these other columns? These are only for um, to check the the machine once a week to see that it is actually um, working at the way it's supposed to work. So we do a testing on it. So it's a test. Now you you you, you said um, if it's uh, you put your initials if it's surgical instruments from surgery side then abbreviate S U R after yes. the number. So where does that? See this one says surgery, and then that's in, in Arlene. Okay, so so anyway, so you either SUR or surgery instruments. Mm -hmm. um, you never clean surgical and medical instruments in the same bin. We try to keep these instruments separate, so best to use one sink for one batch and another sink for another batch. This avoids shortage of instruments on either side. And the danger points, again, are handling instruments when getting from the exam room sink, scrubbing the instruments, and taking the instruments from the uh, ultrasound uh, machine and putting it into the packets. Um, is that it? That's it. Okay. Um, thank you, Carmen. You're welcome.